Hi, how are you doing? Hi, Kevin. Nice to see you. you Do too. you have time for 20 questions with me? Sure, absolutely. Brilliant. So, Kevin, tell me, what, what does DAME stand for? Well, DAME stands for Data Science, Artificial Intelligence and Modelling. And you can see the building behind me. It's the newest building here on campus. Why don't you come on in? So when was it formed, this new building? Well, the department and the building, so the department was formed in August of last year, and this building has been open since January of this year. <laughs> Fairly new then. Absolutely. So what are you hoping to see in Dane's future? Well, we want Dane to be a platform for the university that embeds artificial intelligence and data science right through all the different departments and different services that we offer. That's exciting. I am loving the new building. Can you tell me a little bit more about its facilities? Yeah, absolutely. So I'm sure you can see through the glass here that we've got some state-of-the-art equipment that we use to teach our students with. In fact, why don't you come on through and you can see the equipment for yourselves. And I hear that you have an MSc but it's open to any degree background? Yeah, we do. It's open to any degree background. So it's not just mathematicians or people like that that we want. But it's open to people who have got a BSc in politics or maybe English literature and they're very welcome to apply for this course because it's a conversion course. So let me get this right. If I've studied something like American Studies, what would I need to, in order to apply? Okay, so you'd need a 2-1 classification degree, but in addition to that you'd need one of three things. Either previous experience of programming, some formal statistics, or some formal mathematics. Great. Okay, well, tell you what, let me introduce you to my colleague Claire over here. I can feel my phone buzzing in my pocket, so I'm going to have to take the call. But if I can introduce you to Dr. Cashmore, I'm sure you can ask a few more questions of her just for a few moments. And I'll get back to you about the other conditions that we have, because we've got some bursaries available on top of that. Fabulous, thank you. Hi Claire, can you tell me a little bit more about this MSc course? Hello, so first you'll begin with building core programming skills in Python, um, which will allow you to learn the data science techniques for the following modules on the course, which you can just see here on our website. Um, so we have modules surrounding data science and artificial intelligence. And we finish with a 12 week project in trimester three. Oh, perfect. Um, and if I was a prospective student who doesn't live in Hull, am I still able to apply? Yes, so anyone can apply from anywhere around the world. The campus-based learning is actually only one full day a week, so you can even commute from outside of Hull. Oh, great. And I've heard exciting things about the research and application module. Uh, could you give me a few examples of the projects that have taken place? Yeah, so this is where you will um, develop your research projects. So we have a wide range of projects to suit all students' interests. As long as you have a data set and a problem to solve, you can do a research project on it. So some examples in the past are choosing the optimal team for um, a football match and predicting the actual match results. Then we've had things like using social media and sentiment analysis to gauge public opinions on perhaps controversial topics. Um, projects like predicting the annual um, electricity generation from off offshore UK wind farms. Um, and through to things like classifying medical images to search for diseases such as cancer and COVID-19. Great. And who are you working with here? Um, this is Temi who can tell you more about our students. Temi, really quick question. Describe your students in three words. Okay, hello. Um, I'll say my students are diverse, motivated and happy. Brilliant, that's really good. And alongside this new building, can you tell me about the, the equipment that you have here? Yeah, we've got two dedicated to the uh, computational labs which are equipped with over 500 iSpec systems and a number of other specific purpose hardware like drones. Our students have access to Viper, which is a high performance computing system for condu conducting data intensive uh, computations. Oh, Javron. Just me, my friend. Javron. Just got completed his MSc. Hi Jevon, great Hi. to hear that you've just completed your course. What yes. was the favourite thing about it? Honestly, what I really enjoyed was interacting with people from such a diversity of backgrounds, academic backgrounds. There are people from computer science, people from, you know, English, just from so many different areas. It was really exciting to find the solutions they'd come up with and the problems they face in their unique sphere of academia. And you loved it so much. You're now a GTA. What is that yes. exactly? So a GTA actually carries two components. So component one is where you need to pursue a PhD. And two, you have to, I mean, you get the privilege to interact with all the brilliant minds that are now studying the MSc in artificial intelligence and data science. 
And so what's your plans for the future? Well, it's actually twofold. For one, I'm really interested in making a difference in teaching people. You know, there's so much confusion surrounding AI and how it really works. So I want to be one of the ones to educate people and also continue along the PhD path, which is to use AI to solve air quality issues. Cool. So thank you. Now I'll introduce you to Georgia. Hi, Georgia. So why did you choose Hull? Well, I was really attracted to the model which now offers its PhD students, especially the fact that I can do my own astrophysics research for my PhD and get teaching experience at the same time. Oh, great. And outside of the university, what's your favourite thing about the city? Well, it's got to be the fact that there's so much to do. You've got things like bowling, mini golf, there's loads of cinemas. But at the minute, I am making my way through all of the local restaurants my friends have recommended. Great, I might be coming back to you about those restaurants. Uh, so where do you see yourself in the next few years? Well, hopefully I'll be graduating. At this point, my plan is to stay in academia, but it's great to know that everything then setting me up for it, it'll be perfect if I want to go into industry instead. Oh, great, thank you. Kevin! Hi, sorry yeah. I had to go away for a few moments. It's okay, don't worry. I've not forgotten about bursaries that you was going to tell me about. Yeah, Can you tell so me about now? Absolutely, so we've got quite a lot of bursaries this particular year. They're worth £10,000 each, and they're open to people from non-traditional backgrounds and by that we mean women, we mean people who have got disabilities, black and from low socio-economic backgrounds. So if you tick one of those four boxes, please consider applying for one of the £10,000 bursaries that we have available. That's great. And Claire mentioned about exciting projects with students uh, that they've been working on. Does that mean you're open to collaboration with companies for new ventures? Oh, absolutely, yes. So we, if you're a company listening to this, we'd very much value your input. And if you want to have a student for a project, for instance, we've got plenty of students who are very keen and very talented who want to be part of your business. We're also very open to collaboration if you need someone a little bit more experienced to work with. If you've got an AI or data science related problem, we're right here and we're happy to talk. That's great, I'll let my friends know. And lastly, what piece of advice would you tell an applicant who's thinking of applying? Well, the, the honest truth is get your application in pretty early because the places are very popular, as you can imagine, because at the moment AI and data science is really exploding. I'm sure you can see that everywhere on the internet. Yeah. So please get those applications in as early as possible. Oh, great. Thank you so much for having me. Yeah. See you soon. You're very welcome.